Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 105. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. I say fam in the building. Introduce yourself to the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Ladies. Come on now, ladies first. <laughs> from Greenville, South Carolina. How y'all doing? It's your boy, Ken Out of God, man. Straight out of Rochester, New York, holding on that rock better than Jay Z ever did, man. <laughs> oh, copy that. You heard that? That is Greenville, South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to my folks. Like I said, I say podcast radio network every Friday at 10 a.m. You can find how to host podcasts behind. While we already there, let's hit the rest of the rundown. We can go Saturday, THC Media every Saturday, 10 a.m. Mondays, though, is eBlock Radio Network every Monday, 2 o'clock on the eBlock Radio Network, the exclusive home of the video of the Hot House Podcast. Uh, GFT Radio Network, 2 o'clock on Tuesdays. And then we go 216 to Blend on Wednesdays, 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Custom Hustle, Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. We do custom jackets, custom jerseys, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, however you need them joints. Might even work into some soccer joints because somebody asked me about that. Um... Also doing the sneaks. We yes, we have the custom hustle sneaks. They are in. They are available in any color, kids sizes, women sizes, however you need them. We will make them customized for just you. Um, you get at me at Custom Hustle World though. You design your own jacket. I tell people they one of one unless you buy four. Uh, kids jackets are available also. Sweatsuits too. Um, H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company. We do roofing, plumbing, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts, flooring, carpeting, however you need it. You make it worth my while. We will slide down to Greenville and get the gym complex just right. Um, <laughs> are y'all ready for episode 105 absolutely all right episode 105 this is an artist spotlight so this is a bit of a different episode for you normal listeners who are here tuned in every week we appreciate you hitting the button you downloaded already and we appreciate it and my bad y'all i don't know what's going on with the iheart radio situation my bad for those who listen on iheart i don't know why the episode has not uploaded the last couple of weeks but we don't let nothing stop the show um okay artist spotlight now Y'all just dropped a compilation album. Let's talk to the people about the compilation album uh, and give me a little backstory on how we made that one, all of that situation happened. So the compilation album is Think, Pray. Uh, basically, you better think about what you're saying or you're going to be praying about it. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, collectively is doing it. It was We had an amazing time. Like all the talent that we have within Truth is a Label, is amazing. It was just like bam, bam, back to back, idea, idea. So it was exciting. We just shot a video too. To I'm one. about to say, then you you gonna let her go? She pauses, gives you the opportunity. That <laughs> oh, was a fast you. break what? layup. That was My, a fast listen. break layup. Bounce. I'm gonna spot up. I'm a spot up shooter, but I take it. I take it. You know what I'm saying? Take it honestly, quick pass. He take it. Of course, of course. I, I I let the queen. You know what I'm saying? Say what she gotta say, and now I come on on the back end. But uh. Honestly, it was it was really just a vibe of, out of everybody. It no, it didn't matter who was in the booth or who made a song. It was always going to hit. Um, honestly, I want to do another one, but I'm I'm always working and trying to make some music with everybody. But yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming out this year. Go ahead, though. You were saying y'all just did a video. Yeah, we just did a uh, video to um, Brown Sugar. Uh, the video is gonna be dope. It's gonna drop soon. But have you listened to the album? Yes, cover to cover. Oh, mm-hmm. what song is your favorite song? Let me ask you. Oh, no, nah, I, got, I got all of that. Girl, I got all of that locked and loaded for you. You know, paid talent like myself. We got, I got this. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> Brown Sugar, though, I just told him, I said, yo, was that you who did the second verse on Brown Sugar? Because I said, it sounded like it was you, but I ain't 100% sure. Let's make sure. Because I know I could, I could distinctly get is and I could distinctly get you out of it. Yeah. And he said, yes, that was me. Copy that. Okay. I was feeling <laughs> yeah. that one. The mm-hmm. intro, too. Hold up, I got them written down in here though. The intro, oh, that was my joint too. Y'all was favorite was probably my favorite joint though. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite's probably my favorite. Going yeah, through it too, I, I I was rocking with that one too. But yes, favorite's probably my favorite joint. Mm-hmm. And and the beats, y'all do the beats in house too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's let who's doing who's doing the beats. Let's just get them a little love and throw them a little shine. Oh, gym complex. Yeah. 
Copy that. So, you know what I'm saying? This is what we do here. When we shout people out on How to Hustle Podcast with Hype, you let them know that you spell Hype, H-Y-M-P-E. You Google that. You put it in on any streaming platform. And we only accept five stars, not four. So when we shout them out, you tell them, yo, man, look, I gave you a shout out. I did this interview. Copy. We only accept five stars, though. Right. Um, <laughs> Now, I need a little bit of backstory on a couple of tracks from y'all perspective. What okay. is your favorite song on the album? My we're going to start off Yes, we'll start off with Miss Rosa. Come on now. Uh, my, I gotta say, I think my favorite song is Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, explain that one to me. Why is that one your favorite though? I don't know. Just go hard. You know, I'm talking about shit. I had to I had to stay up there with the big boys, you know. <laughs> okay. My personal favorite, gotta go to Brown Sugar just because of the moment in the studio and how it came about. Just because it just went from a conversation. Let, let us behind the curtain. There we go. It was. It was. It started as a conversation, more so of we need to bring we need to bring back the pimp the pimp era of of, of slang and, and talking a certain way. So we ended up just harnessing that and then making it into a song. And then I feel like that was the most fun I had recording a song in a very long time. And I feel like that was the funnest day that we ever had together as of right now because we got many more to go but yeah that was that was a vibe right there so we got one drink that i wanted to know about this is why we needed ears on because i wanted to ask him about this the pop drink that he just dropped the video for fire yeah yeah you're gonna have to catch them him on uh on that one but yeah that video and that song go hard why wasn't that on the album though it has got another project he working on well that song right there for him is more personal so mm. decided to drop it as a single because it touched home and it's, it's it's personal. So we didn't want to put that on a compilation album. We wanted that to shine on its own. Okay, okay. copy that. And I want to say shout out to you because Merv told me the story about how you printed out all them pictures and put them up for the. You know, the hard for my team. That's my baby. I I printed yeah. out. <laughs> Yo. You, set up you the background for the for the video and it took me three days but i said you know what we got this vision and we're first, gonna do it make it happen every time so the background was something i was gonna bring up and now i'm glad that you said that the background took you three days to do uh-huh. one you know me i'm all about the hustle uh <laughs> salute to you for taking that having that dedication to say if it take three days it take three days but we got to make sure that the shot is right Right. You don't rush through stuff just to do it, just to say that you did it, or half do it when you have the vision in your head that it's supposed to look like this. Same situation we was just talking about off mic. I've been sitting on this for three years because I can't just do it without making sure that it's done correctly. Mm-hmm. We're not going to just do it just to say we did it and then knowing that it was half done and that 12 things was wrong and that I didn't want to do it like that. So definitely salute to you for committing to the project that much to say, I'm going to print these joints out. It's going to take me three days to get them all glued to the situation. And get it done. <laughs> and get it done right. I, I, I respect and love that type of stuff. Damn, I forgot to mention this too. Shouts out to my man, Unk Jock Johnson, if you're watching the video. Unk, I got the shirt on for you, baby. Shouts out to my man, Jock Johnson, down in Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Support those who support you. Now, did we leave anything on the cutting room floor, though? Because we only had 10 tracks on the joint. Was it anything that it was like, uh, we argued about this should have made the cut, but it did? Uh, no, I think it was more of, I did want um, K-9 and vocals to do a couple solo songs. We didn't get to put on this album. So we do, we are going to do another compilation album. I don't know. I, as oh, a right now, but it's it's going to get done. I really regret not putting that track on there, too. And I'm still holding on to it. Yeah. Again, hold you, hold, you hold on to it until the time is right. Just because it's, it's new, it's old to you, don't mean it ain't new to the listeners. Right. Oh, of course. Of course. Um, I, now, <laughs> now, this one is for you, K9. The versatility right. that you showed me on the joint, because like I told you, I didn't even know this is you singing on the joint, too. Yeah. Like, because <laughs> I, somebody like myself, I do homework on these situations, and I'm just bringing people on that had paid attention to listen to anything. And then we about to cap the whole episode. No. Uh, talk to me about that versatility, you know what I'm saying, that you show and your artistry. Because that's uh-huh. uh, that that isn't a rapper, that's an artist when you have that type of multifaceted skill set. Uh it started early with um I just didn't want to be one of those people who can be stuck in a box, like he's only a rapper or he's only a singer. And and honestly. 
uh, I tell people all the time, if I wasn't making music, I'd be making music. There's no other thing I wanted to do. So it's just like, if I wasn't able to rap, I had to be able to be able to know how to sing. So it's just like, I actually wanted to just be a singer at a point in time. And then um, just being around my brother and, and my dad and just was like, I was too good at rapping to not rap. But then I fell in love deeply with rap with other things and doing that and also uh battle rap added on to that and watching that and it just made me master my craft of of rapping and singing and being versatile so i had to you know what i'm saying try and pick up wherever i could on the track all right so you got a brand new audience right here that's listening to y'all you got one song two songs we're gonna go two they got two songs that they got to hear. give me both of them the, what you okay. mute yourself with that? Wait, wait, that was the you. What you mute yourself for? Uh, me. My I, let the, I let the queen go first every time. No, no, she's not going first on this one. Okay, I gotta go first. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, uh, I'm point, I point guard the situation, top of the key. You spot up Johnny in the corner. I just boom. threw you a one. Give me two, I, give me two trucks. Uh, uh, we're gonna go, um, ah, uh, we're gonna go falsetto is one. So you can get my R and B side of things. That was the joint you was teasing on the page, copy. And um, uh, you know what, Cinderella, because it's coming out on the fourteenth of April. Cinderella as well. It's really, it's really. Uh, I want to say it shows my versatility and I, how I can do rapping and singing on the same song, and it shows how great of a rapper I am. So yeah, Cinderella and falsetto. Copy that. So what you're saying is Friday when this episode debuts on the I Say Podcast Radio Network and the song will be dropping. Copy that. Miss Rosa, two yeah. songs. Uh, two songs. So um, my debut album, um, Itchy, I got a song on there called Conspiracy, which is my intro to um, the actual album. Uh, that's me because I never get into like my personal life. So that's something a little personal that I like everybody to hear. And also Teals for the Freak Coast. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> But that okay. was, that's going to be my video. My song right all here. Right. So. All right, now, this is what I need y'all to do. Let the listeners know, though, where they can find the music at. How do they find it? How do they search it? All of that good stuff. At K9 to God on everything, no matter what, what platform you're on, social media you on, it's K9 to God. That is K-A-Y-N-I-N-E-D-A-G dot A dot W dot D. <laughs> and... Make- that's you can find us on youtube which is truth is a label uh you can find me on spotify apple um victoria rose uh social media you can find me victoria underscore rose underscore mega and if y'all want to know what mega come from i'm megatron because once i get started i get it going yes it's your girl so yeah you can find me on all those all right, copy that. We're we not, we not done yet. We were just, you know, saying we want to let the people know where to go while they're listening. Now, we're going to start with Miss Rose because he's being such a gentleman. Canine's being such a gentleman here. So we're going to start with you. Okay. What is it about the music of today that you love and that you hate? Um, do you mean overall or in such a different categories? Hip hop. Let's start with hip hop. Is any, any, way, any way you want to take it, if you want to specifically focus on the R&B, if you want to specifically focus on the drill music, however you want to take that, whatever lane you want to go. Hip hop, uh, I love that. I call it scrapping. And it started with, I, I must say, Drake, with the singing and rapping, how it's been able to intertwine together. Perfect pitch, K-9, you know what I'm saying? I love mm-hmm. that. What I don't like is the fact that um, it's not a lot of lyricists anymore. So we have to, now it's like, it's either have to have a catchy beat, but the lyrics not good, or the lyrics good and the beat suck. And it, it just is, you know. It's not and, that perfect blend, yeah. And then with the females, uh, it's a lot of females that can rap, but um, sometimes we, de- we do need to turn off with talking about vagina all the time and selling sex all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these females can rap harder than a lot of girls, but I know sex sells. So I know they're doing it because it sells, you know? See, the thing with that one is, it always was sex sells, but it was also have a type of tease with the situation. Don't mm-hmm. just bust it wide and show me the whole thing. Now I ain't got nothing to leave the imagination. And that's yeah. what it was. The thing was, yeah, it was like, damn, she talking like this on the track. 
and you are just imagining it. Now you can just subscribe to her OnlyFans or you know what I'm saying? catch her on a live on a late and night. Yeah, I love it. Like, uh, yeah, like, go ahead, K9. Yeah. Uh, personally, to me, being being from from New York, it's a bad thing. It's just like drill music. I love it, but I hate it because it's just like it's getting it's getting everybody indicted. Rico cases coming left and right. It's gonna it gets us in trouble a lot. Um, and I feel like now music is just so microwavable. It's like it's here for a second and it's gone. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like people don't make music that last anymore. And 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 even even in the sense of albums, nobody makes a sequence beautiful album or body of work. We would have to wait for a J. Cole or a Kendrick or a couple more artists, you know what I'm saying? That that'll give us one of those. That's why when they come out and they have um you know what I'm saying? Albums that they just sound like mixtapes, glorified mixtapes, honestly. Um, but I love, I love how how creative music is getting and how fast that you can spread it through social media now and how people um pay attention to music now. You know what I'm saying? It's it's taking over everywhere. Music is now involved with everything. You know what I'm saying? People are going, people are now trying to tune in to find movie soundtracks that that was unheard of, you know what I'm saying, a couple of years back. People trying to find now like video game soundtracks because they have great songs on them. And it's a lot of ways that you can get out music. And and just it's easily accessible nowadays. And I love that. So everybody can kind of, you know what I'm saying, get get their favorite artists. You know what I'm saying? And it's possibly truth is a label is your favorite artist. It should be. Anyway, um, yeah, like I just love the way that music spreads now. So you kind of took my answer because I was going to answer this one myself. Um, the thing that I love is the accessibility. When I was a kid and you heard, yo, the locks just dropped this new joint. You got to be in the house listening to the radio and wait for it to come back on. Right. And you hitting pause and record. I mean, you record and play on the joint so we can record it. Hopefully nobody cusses, screams, hollers or nothing because now they messed up your recording. Now you instantly, because somebody drops a whole album, you got all 15 tracks or whatever right there in your phone. So that part is the part that I do love. The part that I don't like, is you lost the authenticity of the sounds from the different places. Back in the day, you knew somebody was from the West Coast when you heard them, or was from the East Coast or from the South, or like you could tell the difference in the look, the style, and the feel of the artist. Now, you might look at two niggas from Philly and Arkansas, and they look just alike. <laughs> like, you don't know which one's from Philly and which one's from Arkansas. So like that part of like people not really knowing who they are, so not knowing what they are and how they're going to express themselves and you just go with whatever somebody else is doing because that's what's cool at the moment. Which, mm-hmm. I mean, when you're a kid, copy, that's what everybody did. But it was also a difference of you could tell those things uh, visually and through hearing it. Like, when you heard a song come on, you knew, oh, yeah, these niggas from the West Coast. Oh, these niggas from the South. Like, because it was just a certain cadence and a certain way that everybody carried themselves, a certain way that they rapped. Like, and now we lost that. I feel like we got a, like a million of one person. Like I was watching um, T Pain on Twitch, and he was like, "There's a million little babies out there. Why don't you just be original?" And I and I and I felt that like a hundred percent. I feel like you can listen to like artists and can tell who they're trying to mimic nowadays. Yeah. Because people don't be having their own authentic sound. You just trying to sound like the next such and such. This is one thing I always tell people. I was talking to somebody about this recently. And they like, what genre is your podcast under? My podcast is under shit that makes sense. Because yeah. you're only going to come here and get stuff that makes sense. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not, you're not going to get me and it sounds and feels like nobody else. Nobody else can do this like I'm doing this. I'm not the next anybody. I'm the first and only mm-hmm. hype. Or right? <laughs> when people say, damn, how you say your name? It's, hy- it's hype. It's not like anything else. Okay. This is right. not like anybody else because nobody else is me. And mm-hmm. that's one of those things I always try to convey to people. Is this is one something now I want to be honest with you about too. When the first like you dubbed it the singer rapper type joints, and I was like, oh, I'm not feeling this. I'm a old school hard bar styles P kiss yeah. big property. That's my you know what I'm saying. So yeah. once that first came out, I was like, ah, what is this? Like, what is dudes doing? Took a little getting used to because it just became a thing of the times. But like I told you though, first thing I said to you was. Was you the one on Brown Sugar? Because I didn't know that that was you singing on the joints and rapping on the joints. It took me personally, an uh, honest person, you know what I'm saying, can admit this when it took me 
growing my ear to be able to listen to that type of thing because it was like I'm only stuck into the oh no it got to be this way and yeah. you saying it got to be this way put somebody else's talent in the box because you're small mind yeah. so you know that was something that I had to see in myself not even that it was just you but yeah. the sound and all of that I would not have appreciated the sound that you're giving mm -hmm. a couple years ago <laughs> Crazy because it's just like I got I got records that are straight like just straight rap because I tell people all the time the, the greatest beats to rap on are boom bap beats. I'm saying I grew up in that. Like people ask me my top five favorite rappers all the time. And like when I tell people my favorite rapper of all time is Method Man, then they hear my music, it's like I don't understand it. You stepped on the next question. <laughs> <laughs> I always, let's just transition into it I'll go first this time I guess so yeah my top five of all time are right now no it was it was just your it was just your favorite your favorite rapper your favorite singer all right boom my favorite whether rapper it be, whether it be a group or an individual yeah my favorite rapper of all time is Method Man nobody can out rap Method Man nobody raps like Method Man nobody got the cadence like Method Man that's the GOAT my favorite singer of all time will forever be D'Angelo. Oh, not D'Angelo. <laughs> we know he got some cocoa butter at the crib. You know, he... Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and braids to the back. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I feel like D'Angelo was just... He was one of those one of those guys that was just like... Made it cool to sing. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, oh, I'm a singer and I'm quirky. It was like... I'm I'm a singer and I'm getting the girls because I'm a singer. Like I feel like nowadays people are afraid to sing. We only got like a handful of people left that actually want to go out there and actually sing. So that's because again, this goes back to what we talked about with the dedication of the three days of putting the pictures together. To be a singer takes lessons, time, dedication, and not just get on a track, make a few decent notes. And now we're going to auto tunes and we're going to play the beat a little louder, put a little drum into it, and we're going to play with it and make it sound like something that it ain't. Back yeah. then, you had to go the long way. You couldn't microwave the situation like another thing that you said. We couldn't mm -hmm. microwave it. You had to put it in the oven. Wasn't no microwave. And you had to slow cook and rotisserie that thing back then. Mm -hmm. And people ain't doing that now. Bless you. I saw that off mic. <laughs> <laughs> For those who are watching on the E-Block Radio Network, they're going to see you going to gloss over that. No, we're not. Um, but yeah, that's the difference in there. It's the work ethic. It's the time, attention to detail that it's going to take for you to learn how to sing. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Go ahead, Miss Rosa. Who's your oh. Who's your favorite rapper? And your favorite oh. R&B? Do I have to have a favorite? Can I just throw some out that I like? You do what you want. <laughs> okay, you, so you, my, you run in the situation. You do what I, you want. <laughs> ain't gonna, my favorite rapper of all time has to be Tupac. And even though my guy's gone, I mean, I was young, like, wouldn't even supposed to be listening I to this. And I'm like, this guy, my son, first off, in the in click. In the click you claim. <laughs> you know? Listen, two, Tupac movie, I was the old nigga in the back who knew all the words. My wife was like, why are you this hype? Chill. You don't understand. 95 <laughs> hype is in the building, girl. <laughs> and it goes back to say too, like when um what K9 was saying, when he put his albums together, it was like he was writing a story and every song just it just it was a storyline, dear mama, all of this, California love. I it was it was beautifully just done and how he articulate and what he was saying. I even go back and listen to it. And I'm like, when I was young, I couldn't understand it. But I, now I know why I, I like I love this guy. Now my favorite singer, y'all know who it is. It's your girl B. She can sing. That's my girl Rihanna. I love Rihanna too. That's my girl. And I got a white singers that I, I love too, like Jesse J. And if we she want has to, crazy range though, Jesse like, J. Crazy range. Amazing. Tori Kelly, Kelly Tori, whatever her how you. Tori Kelly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she's she, she love key black. Mm hmm. Adele, I like that kind of music, and I like Summer Walker. I like SZA, but like if you want to put them in a category, the ones that I said before that can actually sing, sing, those are the ones that I like. Yeah, Last definitely got to have a conversation about that Tupac because you know me, I got Biggie over Tupac all day. But we're gonna have a conversation later. You know, all right, so I was going, I was going to let it slide, but since you brought us back here, Tupac is my favorite. Uh, and like I said, if you if you was there in 95, 96 and all of that, like the feeling that Tupac gave you, like you said, first off, like when that joint hit, the feeling that you got when them joints hit was different. 
But when you listen back to this stuff, I can wholeheartedly admit Biggie's better than Pac. Thank you. But that doesn't mean that Pac isn't still my favorite. Just because you're no, my listen, favorite. I love Pac, but best. it's just when it comes down, when you put Biggie in the conversation, I'm going Biggie every time. I really didn't listen to Biggie. I would listen to Jay-Z over Biggie. I didn't start listening to Biggie until later and on. Me being from New York, I choose Biggie over everybody. And I now, now, if you were to ask me this five years ago, I would probably have a different answer. But now I got Nas over Jay-Z. Uh, Nas is my, um, I mean, he could rap, but he's not like. I got Nas over Jay-Z. Hey, I'm with you. I'm not really a Nas guy. Um, I think I might have one. I might have one Nas joint on my phone. I'll take Lil Wayne over. I'll take Lil Wayne over Biggie. I'll take Lil Wayne over Jay Z. I'll okay, take, I, you know. We're we'll talking conversation. Right, yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah, so why, why are we naming? Why are we naming artists though? We gotta have Jada Kiss in this conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah this conversation without Jada, Jada Kiss. Kiss. Of course. Of course. Yeah. It is in my South Carolina. Jada Jada Kiss is one of the most underrated. Why I have no idea. If, if Jada Kiss isn't in anybody's top ten or top five. I, can't I don't want to see your list, yeah, because you can't remember. You can't remember that, Jonah. He, you was like, yeah, Jada struggled on that <laughs> since '94. <laughs> like, what you say? I like Benny Siegel a little bit better than Jada Kiss. Mm. Um, Beans grew up on my aunt block around the corner, and he was in. Of course, <laughs> when all of that's going on, we state property out as the state property is SP to South Philly. So I yeah. wholeheartedly was with all of that. No. Why we speaking, why we speaking on Philly free AR ad, <laughs> free AR ad about the can, man? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, man. What's my guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. The last joint that I wanted to ask y'all, though, before we close out the episode, uh, tell me this. What song best identifies with you? Whether it's something that you have or something that you heard from somebody else and was like, oh my God, this is tapping me right on the shoulder. Um, I would say, uh, and this is a song by Jesse J. It's a, it's a pop song. <laughs> um, Big White Room. I don't know if you heard it, go listen to it. And it just it, the song basically talks about how you feel alone and you feel like you don't have nobody within a space sometimes. So and how you can't voice yourself the way you want to and how you going through obstacles with your mental that you can't express out to the world. So that's one of um a song that I I yeah. Yeah. Um come on. Okay, boom. My favorite rap song of all time is Kendrick Lamar Sing About Me I'm Dying of Thirst. That's my that's that's my favorite rap song of all time, but no, the question was not what was your favorite rap I know, song. No, I know, I know. Okay, I, know. That. That's, 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 I wanna say that, but when I heard uh Andre 3000's verse on Life of the Party, that's been my favorite rap verse for this for the past since I heard it. So it's just that verse, Andre 3000's verse. Kanye messed up the song doing what he did, but Andre 3000's verse, I cried a little bit listening to that. It was that's 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 the song, Life of the Party. Just just how he's speaking, you know what I'm saying? Like if you ever lost somebody really important and really close to you in the way that he's speaking, you felt all those feelings. So it's just like that, that was always his home for me. Mine is uh Yo Gotti, what happened? When that joint dropped, my brother had just got killed probably like the month before, or something like that, maybe like the week of something like that. So like yeah. when he's he's not even really a song is him talking through like the story of like him and his man. Mm -hmm. And when he gets to we were supposed to got rich and go retire together. What happened? Damn, that joint hurt, man. Yeah, like listen, I, said, this, I understand that completely. Yo. That joint, like I said, when that joint dropped, that's like the freshest. The wound is still fresh. Mm -hmm. and RP EJ, that joint like. That's EJ all written all over that song just because of the time and place that it dropped. Um, yeah. Lastly, this is what I wanted to ask y'all too. We're going to give him his flowers even though he didn't show up at work. <laughs> Tell us what is means to you. And we're going to let Victoria go last on this one. I'm about to say, I'm going to let her go last. <laughs> You're going to have the whole drowned out super long answer. We're going to have part two and part three of the episode if she go first. <laughs> let, me, let me go first. Um, Honestly, um, 
losing losing my brother a couple a couple uh years ago um really brought me to a place of trying to find somebody to you know what I'm saying? Give me that same feeling that my brother gave to me. So it's just like I view, I tell everybody all the time, I view everybody on truth is as family, but is is like a like a big brother to me. Like it doesn't matter what I'm doing or what I got going on. If he'll call me to check on me just cause. You know what I'm saying? I I didn't I don't really have people that would just check on me like that just because because that's what the kind of person he is. It's um I feel like I'm always have his back, no matter what, no matter. Uh, if we on good terms, bad terms or not, like that's my guy. That's my guy forever. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I'll forever have his back. If if nobody got his back, I'll have his back. That's my that's my guy. And I feel like I owe him a lot that monetary things can't even give him. So, yeah. Oh, it's my turn. Hey. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, it, it, he means everything to me. You don't understand, like, to have somebody like that in your corner that roots for you all the time you can't think of anything better just to have somebody that mentally especially physically and supports you like this man is my world like we, i'm gonna marry this man that's how much he means to me like we we <laughs> one and one so yeah I, I words really can't explain it and the what i learned from him you can't learn from everybody and what he teaches me is more valuable than anything, you know? So he mean, he mean everything to me. Copy that. Um, no, so beautiful. Nah, that's, <laughs> nah, that's my man. Like I told you uh, when we first started off, Mike, like me and him got probably locked in 17 or 18. And that was just off me listening to the podcast and the rain was doing. And I would tap in with him constantly once we exchange numbers, I tell people all the time, everybody got access to me, but everybody don't got my phone number. Exactly. Ooh, I'm going to steal that right there. Yeah, I mean, just as long as, you, as long as you let them know, I got this from Hype. Of course. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell people all the time, I'm a habitual plagiarist, but I will give you your props if I steal from you. Yeah, um, yeah like, uh, same I, thing like you said. I would just be, yo, bro, you good? Everything good down there? And all of that type of, ain't even about, like, that you want something out of somebody all the time. Sometimes just that checking in with somebody is all that they need because you never know what type of day, how they feeling, or just like you were saying with the song, uh, the Big White Rum Joint. It's about how you feel alone and nobody's relating to your situation and all of that. Just sometimes, are you good, bro? Or what's up out there? You know what I'm saying? Changes everything for you. And me and him have had that rapport and that type of relationship, uh, like I said, for the past mm, maybe six, eight, maybe six years or so. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe five, six years. So um, I definitely wanted to give him his flowers. I'm very big on give you your flowers while you can smell them. That's not wait till you did to be making 55 long ass captions and pictures and copy. Everybody loves you then. You said, well, they love you when you can't hear it. But while you're here to hear it, let's let them hear it. So I appreciate y'all coming on. Truth is the label. Let's throw it out one more time. Let them know where to follow y'all and all of that good information before we wrap up episode 105 of the How to Hustle Podcast. Right. You know what I'm saying? Truth is the label on YouTube. Truth is the label on Instagram. Truth is the label on everywhere. Truth is the label. But myself personally, it's K9 to God. That's K-A-Y-N-I-N-E-D-A-G-A-W-D. -A -A and yes, truth is the label on uh, Instagram, TikTok. Um, truth is the label on YouTube. And then my, yeah, like I said, personal Victoria. <laughs> You can find me on all streaming platforms. Uh, Victoria Rose. Make sure y'all go stream that album, Is She? Also, and also, also um, one of the other artists that couldn't make it, which is uh, True and Vocals. Vocals is an R&B single that we have on the label as well. He wasn't able to make it today, but you guys can go find him. Vocals, a.k.a. Big juice. Big juice. <laughs> Y'all go download his music. You can find him on um Instagram vocals with a Z, um, TikTok vocals with a Z, and truth is level as well. Yeah, I'm glad you said TikTok. I forgot all about that. Brand new on TikTok. At I am hype23 on TikTok. All right, that's episode 105. Appreciate y'all hitting the button. We are out. Mm -hmm.